Mambo poa. Kwema kabisa Bongo 5. Yes, like na dakika miaka miwili. Miwili yes, miwili kabisa yes. Kwa sababu the last time was 2015 eh, just before ile uchaguzi. Yeah, kwa miaka miwili na kitu yes. Nikafanya kitu fulani vya meze. Aha. Ndio. Eh sasa hivi tuna nyimbo mpya ambayo inaitwa Omeniacha eh, ndio project ambayo tuko nayo sasa hivi eh, video tumetoa leo YouTube ambayo kila mtu anaweza akatizama eh, nime, nime shoot na Halfani eh, audio tumerecordi Soha Studio eh, Stockholm Sweden kwenye baridi la hatari sasa hivi and uh, yeah hiyo ndio project mpya kwa sababu nimekuwa nimekaa kimya kama nilivyosema toka 2015 eh, kabla ya uchaguzi sijatoa kichochote sijaonekana popote so ilikuwa tu muda umefika yani kwamba watu ni vipi mbona hatukusikia tukuoni na vitu kama hivyo so nikaona sawa kitu kibaya eh, sasa hivi na mimi pia imekuwa kwamba nimekuwa na kiu yani nimekuwa na njaa tena na mziki so it was just nice kuweza kufanya kitu na sasa hivi kuapa mashabiki na naona ishara tayari kwenye social media kwamba watu wamekuwa very supportive na wengi ulikuwa umepotea wapi ulikuwa umepotea wapi yes yeah mhm na kitu <laughs> Mm. Yes. Eh, kama miaka tano sita iliyopita eh, niliamua kuanzisha biashara ambayo nilikuwa nafanya hapa Tanzania. Eh, nilikuwa na mgahawa. So eh, even though watu walikuwa wanioni yani ile kwamba huyu labda huyu anakulaje kwa mfano. Anakula nini? Elake anaitengeza wewe maki atumsiki kwenye show yani nini atumoni vitu kama hivyo. Um, mimi ni mtu ambaye najishughulisha always hata kama sionekani mbele ya pazia lakini nyuma ya pazia ni mtu ambaye nimekuwa najishughulisha na vitu tofauti. Eh kingine nimekuwa pia nikifanya kazi za kijamii nasaidia watu nasaidia vijana. E, sasa hivi niko na project ambayo nasaidia vijana kama kumi hivi. Um, ambavyo tutakuja kuviongelea zaidi baadaye kwa sababu i think eh, mimi ni, ni kama nimewafungulia tu mlango lakini wao ndio wanafanya kazi ile so i think it's only fair enough wao wenyewe eh, kama itawezekana waje pia hata wakipata dakika tano ni nyingi sana eh, wakaweza kuongea kile wanachokifanya kwa sababu nimegundua kuna vijana ambao wanafanya vitu wana inspire vijana wenzao lakini hawapati nafasi au fursa kwenye media yani kuongea zaidi kile kitu wanachokifanya so hivyo ni vitu pia nimekuwa nikivifanya e, kingine mimi nafanya kazi yani kama vile we yasi unavyokuja hapa kila siku unafanya kazi na mimi ni mtu ambaye nafanya kazi kwa sababu nataka niwe disciplined yani sio tu nijikete eti ni ah mimi msanii bwana noma sijui nikionekana nafanya hivi no i don't have that complex e, na najua kitu ninachotaka malengo yangu nayajua so for me hicho ni kitu najivunia sana tena sana so yeah Mhm. Ni kweli? yani we went hard for this one. Yaani ni kitu ambacho tume tume work really hard for. So um, kama hii wiki nzima na kitu nimekuwa tu nafanya media tour same tofauti tofauti pia nashukuru Bongo 5 they've been supportive especially kwangu mimi toka zamani yani toka nimeanza mimi Bongo 5 they've been very supportive hata ukisearch jina langu Bongo 5 lazima lije yani lihusike so i'm grateful for that yeah Eh uh, idea ilianza na kuachwa. <laughs> idea ilianza na kuachwa. Tukaona kwa nini tusitumie fursa hii ya kuachwa na kutengeneza kitu kitamu ambacho watu wataweza kujirecognize na wao. Alafu niliona kuna tabia especially kwenye social medias eh, na medias uh, eh, in general mtu akiachwa yani ni kitu kama cha ajabu sana yani watu wana 
kejeli wana wengine wanafurahia wengine yani wanaona he kaachwa yani eh shog yangu ndo kaachwa hivyo wewe umesikia umeona eh vitu kama hivyo so i took it as an opportunity kwamba niongelee kitu ambacho eh, mtu kwa sababu kuna watu pia wao wananiandikia dada nuru napitia kitu kigumu labda hivi na hivi usually nawapa moyo kwa sababu ni kitu nilishapitia and uh, k- k- kinapita yani unapitia alafu kinaisha unaendelea na maisha sio karibu lakini lakini nataka kusema pia kitu cha kuachwa sometimes pia sio ni kitu kibaya yani it, it can also be a blessing yani kitu kizuri e, unaweza ukakuta labda yule mtu uliokuwa naye alikuwa anakufungia baraka hakufunguli milango so nadhani na hicho pia nitaka ni niongele sema hii nyimbo nimeongelea sana ile situation sasa pale upo kwenye ile process umeachwa na huoni kitu kingine yani yani wewe unajiona kama vile bila huyu mtu huwezi bila ya huyu mtu hautoishi yani it's like wewe yani umejiweka kwamba Mungu wangu ndo nishakatwa mkono so naweza nikasema ya idea ndio ilianza hivyo tukaingia studio tukaimba na leo imetoka tuayo tena mambo ya kuachwa sasa hivi na sisi tuna anthem <laughs> umeniacha <laughs> Nadhani hata wewe unayo. Yeah, wengine hawapendi kabisa kuongelea. Wewe mimi sijawahi kuachwa as if kwamba ana weakness. Kumbe it's just mbona ni normal situation kabisa yani. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mimi nadhani ikifika point, yani ni bora mtu anayekuacha kuliko mtu anayekucheat. Sijui umenisoma. Ni bora yule ambaye anasema mimi na wewe basi siwezi kila mtu afanye yake. Kuliko yule ambaye ana watatu wanne nje lakini bado na wewe umewekwa pale. Kwa maana yule mtu hana hata time. Yaani sio kama hana hata time kwa sababu atakutumia kwa ule mdo wake anataka yeye chake. Lakini plan zake you know. So mimi naona ni bora hivyo. Yaani bora mtu ambaye anakuacha kuliko anayekuchit. Yaani ina maana kama wewe kama mwachi basi tuende uendelee tukishi na kwamba huyo mtu kama ambaye niko naye hajaamua kuniacha unaona zile ishara lakini hajasema wajatamka then mimi nitaacha yeah sio kwamba siwezi um Yeah, production tulianza uh, in Sweden. Uh, yeah, kama nilivyosema studio moja inaitwa Soul House Studios na uh, Joe Vibes Productions. Uh, na tulianza in such I had the idea, nikasema ningependa kuongelea hii situation na yeye akawa producer yani akawa very positive na nilimwambia nataka pia wewe kwenye muundo gani kwa sababu nimeimba Zook this time around. So na charanga. Charanga. <laughs> so eh, ni kitu pia nilisoma soko nikaona sijaona um, watu wengi wanafanya huu mziki ambao ni mziki ukisikiliza nyimbo fulani kuna nyimbo ambazo they are very classic mpaka leo tunazisikiliza hata wale ambao hawakukulia muda ule lakini ile nyimbo ikipigwa wanasimama wanacheza unaona so nilivo ni nilivona ile kitu hakijafanywa muda kidogo nikawa excited kufanya kile kitu yeah video leo ndo tume release online e, na tumekuwa tukifanya media tu tofauti e, na tumefanya Uf, interviews nyingi. <laughs> Moja wapo pia hapa but um, eh naweza nikasema nafurahi kwamba kila nikija na kuwa nakuja na kitu ambacho watu wajatarajia. Sababu nyimbo ya mwisho L ilikuwa kwenye eh, ndo nyimbo inaitwa Sweet Reggae hapa mnasema Sweet Reggae but it's reggae, yani authentic reggae. Eh, so I was just happy na hii time pia nimekuja na kitu kingine tofauti ambacho mtu hategemei kwa sababu wengi wanakuwa wanafanya mziki wanataka nyimbo zao zipigwe clubs. So hiyo ndio hiyo ndio the aim kwamba ah, wanataka yani isiwe tu isiwe tu yani 
labda jumba ni kwa mtu au whatever so the aim for me was mimi always nafanyaga mziki mzuri na nataka ga mziki wangu uwe kitu ambacho mtu hata 5 years from now au 10 years baadaye atasikiliza ataweza kusikiliza mhm 